Alright guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna try to transfer a name, a domain from Namecheapboard to Hostinger. And we will back up the WordPress website that's currently on Namecheap and move it over to Hostinger. So let's see how this goes. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna log into our Namecheap account. Go dashboard, go locate the main list. Scroll down to the domain you wish to transfer. In this case, we're gonna use this one. Click on manage and scroll all the way, uh, find the tab sharing and transfer. Go down to the transfer out section. Make sure that the domain lock is turned off. If it's on, then that's you have to continue that and request the auto authentication code. Go down on the other, you can choose here whatever you want and click send code. Once you click the send code, you will receive an email with a code. Uh, then we're going to come back in into our uh, hosting account, go under domains and request a transfer. So in this case I already did request a transfer, but you will simply go here on domain, transfer domain to hosting. Uh, once you would click on that, it will ask you to enter your domain, you enter your domain, whichever domain it would be, and then you click the transfer button and you would move on to to a field which would ask you the authentication code. To get the authentication code, obviously go into the email. I'm not going to do that now for privacy reasons. I guess I could do it. All right, so this one, for example, I tried with machineshoptrace.com. That's available if you guys want to buy. Um, so if you do transfer to Hostinger, it will include one year of uh, domain registration. The great thing about Hostinger is it has a free SSL as well. It has the, the hosting with it comes uh, and you can have multiple multiple different um, websites <clears throat> so what we're going to do now we will create a new wordpress website we can create a blank one we can use a temporary website let's give it a couple minutes so the idea behind this we will create a blank wordpress website Let's see, so now we're checking, we're going to go inside the current uh, website we have. So what we're going to do is we will use a plugin, Updraft Plus, I really like the Updraft Plus, pretty cool. Allows you to, uh, to make updates. All right, so they this, so go to Updraft Plus backup. See, this is a new tab, we're checking out how it looks currently. So this is the way it currently looks. It's an empty, it's a template website basically, but we will make edits to this. So the idea will be to transfer this whole thing, including the domain and the website, over to Hostinger from Namecheap. All right, so we did create a backup. If you don't, don't have a recent backup, create a backup button up there. Now let's go ahead and click all these individual tabs here because you will need to download them. See the download to your computer button? So make sure all of these loads and you click all of them and download them. You can do one at a time. You can do one at a time making sure they actually download if you, and count how many you have and then compare to how many you have received. So this currently has been generated on the back end as we were looking at the WordPress site. This currently is a temporary website. So let's go and log into the admin of the newly created Hostinger WordPress site. Yeah, I don't know why Norton does this. It's, it's a weird thing, it's, it's fine. All right, so let's visit. Plugins, so we will install Updraft Plus, up, Updraft, yeah, Updraft into the new, uh, new uh, empty website. So this is the currently temporary website from Hostinger. I'm gonna take out this Norton. It's just ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> so we're gonna look for the Add New Plugin in the search bar. Type in Updraft. There it is. It's the first option. So like install now. 
activate. Again, yeah, just accept the risk, continue, up to F settings. Now, remember we did download the updraft from the previous, from the original website. Now we don't need a backup, but what we'll do is actually upload backup files. And here you will drop in your uh, backup files. There you go, so in this case it's going to be these, right? Not that. maybe didn't download yet. Let's see, I have another place where I actually did download other ones. There you go. There you go. And then select all the different files. Remember we downloaded five files, or should have downloaded five, five files. Sometimes it's five, six, seven, depends how many how large your website is, how many plugins you have, and uh, how many different um, you know, options you have on the website. So we're back at Hostinger panel, and we're going to check the domain transfer. Let's see. Domains, did it go through yet? So, one thing real quick. Let me stop this. When you are requesting the uh, the code from the current domain register in the email, uh, it will send you a code and then there will be separate email, oftentimes a separate email, sometimes the same, that asks you to confirm the transfer. You can speed up the transfer, otherwise it's going to wait about five, six, seven days some, on occasion for it to move over. So let's go and double check the WHOIS, if the WHOIS database has been updated yet. So it says it did update that already. Cool. So we're back in the original website. And remember, this is the way that the original website looks. So let's copy this and open in a um, incognito browser. Okay. So it looks like we need to add. Uh, SSL certificate to it because it did already transfer to the Hostinger side. Cool, we can do that. So let's go back into Hostinger, and the SSL is connected to the uh, to the website, I believe, not to the actual domain. Okay, you see. So now it says active already, so it already did complete the transfer. And in the back end. Uh, we are still uploading the backup to the new blank website. In a minute, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go and connect this website to the new domain. So there's a way to link them. So you can create in Hostinger temporarily uh, websites, and then you can link them later with with uh, domains. So let's double check this in the. Um, Cognito button as well. It should be original. There you go. So that hasn't changed yet because we did not activate the backup yet. Now with the backup, remember you will also have the new logins, not new logins. I mean the old logins from the original website. So the VP config file will have the original login information, while the new one will have whatever you set during the uh, initial setup of the new website. All right, so it looks like the uploads, the backup did upload. All right, let's go ahead and restore. Select all the different components. Click next. No, 
it's not going. Let's see why. There you go. All right, so now it is restoring. So sometimes you get to try it a couple of times. I think the Norton may have something to do with it as well. All right, so pay attention to the to the node to the uh, domain up there. See now it automatically logged us out because the login information has changed. So here you would enter your original login from the original website. See, so now the new, the old content has been recreated on this temporary website. So the temporary website on Hostinja has original content that we transferred over from from Namecheap. That's pretty cool. It's easy way. All right. So let's go back into the Hostinja, and I think we'll let's try to. So all the domains are there. There are two websites right now. I think we need to add another website. Let's, there you go. You see this? So now let's connect to a domain. So this is a temporary domain, domain not connected. You see the note? Let's go connect to domain. And once we click the connect to domain, it will give us available options. So in this case, we'll use the salimnutrition.com. Click next, next. Domain is connected. There it is. It's connecting the main. It's going to take a few minutes. I haven't seen it take longer than you know 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we can come back at this later and make sure that it reconnected. And for some reason, it still stays inside the uh, name cheap for a little bit. Oh, by the way, we have a few of these websites for sale if anyone is interested. We have Sunny, uh, Patriotic Wings, uh, MachiningMarketplace.com, even the Machining Partner account for good price. And we also have several other websites that are related to a AI sleep aid direct product name and direct product name review.com all right so let's go in and get the SSL now make sure that works so we're gonna go in from the website so we're gonna pick the the, the new website and it's installing so this is a great another great thing about Hostinja it has lifetime free SSL certificates many other places they charge 10 15 20 bucks a year which can add up if you have multiple websites so let's double check in incognito the domain again the who is information all right there you go so it is reconfirming it is the hostage already there you go that looks good so in Hostinger, the SSL is active. Analytics. Now oh, I don't know where people from Brazil come over now, but I don't know what's going on with this. Six hours. I don't know how that got transferred already, but how many people are just clicking on it? All right, let's go back into the name chip. Oh yeah, so we have the patriotic wings that come. Anyone interested? Rehab Sunny. Also, it's for sale. Yeah, it's it's fully developed website. Uh, leads online is pretty good. We're getting actually some traffic to this for some people that are interested. We also run the uh, Friends of Pochtel uh, home place. 
a beautiful, beautiful old stone village in uh, Bosnia, hidden European gem. Very, very cheap place to be. We also have machining partner, machiningmarketplace.com. So let's go over there. So this domain is for sale. It includes the content. It's already ranking for some of the um, keywords that multi-billion dollar companies are competing for. We also have machineshoptrace.com for sale if anyone is interested. The Rehab Sunny is about you know rehab, drug addiction, alcohol, etc. I kind of wanted to make an informational website and leads online dealing with business to business. And we created this website, I created this website, and anyone needing web design services, let me know, maybe we can work something out. I haven't really done a lot for clients, but I've done for, for myself. I have dozens and dozens of websites, mostly WordPress, just because it's easy to manage, update and all that stuff, uh, to manage the content, including this one. This is the main website we have. It's about machining, because I've been in machining for 25, 30 years and doing good designs so this is the business model of this website is kind of a um, agency for the time being um, <clears throat> and we have different products including uh, outsourced engineering and uh, CAD and drafting services and web design service for small machine shops and this would be like a sample website I'm thinking to create a template out of it and sell the template itself for this less headache and another main website and this is the actual registered business so this kind of would be an umbrella website um, umbrella company site and encapsulates all the rest there you go so that's how you do that and uh, you learn a little bit more about the you know, wannabe business and hope this was helpful if it was uh, click the like subscribe comments and we'll hear from you soon I hope. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.